today I'm going to do an unboxing. Um, this is my third plant that I've bought from this seller on eBay. Um, her name is, she goes by, I believe her name is Michelle, but um, her eBay is going to be uh, M Buffalo 12 and it's on eBay. Um, I've, like I said, this is my third plant and she's, I highly recommend the seller because, um, one, she's on eBay. I love buying plants on eBay. It seems like they're way more healthier and the customer service is way better. Um, I think it's because it's backed up by the money back guarantee or, you know, you're, uh, backed up by the eBay money back guarantee. Um, versus Etsy but I have bought good things off Etsy as well so this seller like I said I bought this is going to be my third plant um, that I bought from her um, she has really large healthy plants for a very good price um, very good prices as well um, and all her plants I they uh, also she they get here quick she's in Florida um, I ordered this, I want to say Friday, and it's here today. So um, that tells you. And she always uses priority shipping. Um, I love each time you receive something from her, she sends this as well. It's always in the package. And it's um, this is really the name of the company, but it's her the eBay is not under this name, but it's Designing Concepts Landscaping. And she always gives the care for the, um, you know, for the plant. Uh, indoors, the wax plant needs daytime temps from 60 and at night, uh, no lower than 55. So she's just going over uh, not to overwater, as you see, but each time I get a full care package and the care she says is is correct um so yeah um i highly recommend her if you're wanting to get a a plant in good shape a large plant and the price you know is always good because um this is a rare plant i haven't seen anybody have it i know people use rare and uh they use rare kind of uh a lot <laughs> i guess i would call this an uncommon plant um it is rare though too because i can't find it anywhere and not as in a larger pot like this either um so she always wraps it like this very very wrapped good it uh, always comes with one of these. It seems like all her plants she sends with the uh, hanging uh, basket. And so, yeah, I love, love, love her. I hope everyone's having a happy new year. Um, so this is my basically my first unboxing for the year. And I move next week. So, um, yeah, so <laughs> it's going to be interesting. I'm on prepping all my plants, uh, getting them together. I thought I was going to make my last video last week, but unfortunately, yeah, I said, nope, I want to, well, it's not unfortunately. I thought I'd share this with you guys. Um, just because this seller is such a good, sell, good seller, um, I've done a few unboxings that I didn't share, um, so I thought I'd go ahead and do this one. Just because, like I said, she's highly, I recommend her because all the plants I've got from her are healthy and they last, they're in good shape. So, I thought I'd go ahead and share this one. It got to me pretty quick too, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, My Hoya collection is just building, building, building. Oh, wow. Okay. It's nice and wrapped good, too. So. Let's 
see how this baby looks. Okay, so this is called the uh, Hoya KP, wait, not KP, um, Hoya KO Yeo. So this is a five inch container, um, Hoya Potsy SP22 KO Yeo. Um, I've seen, a f uh, there's really not much on this plant. I did see Doug Chamberlain uh, from Vermont Hoyas. He did a um, he did a video on it, and look at these huge leaves. So the leaves get red. Um, they get a red tint to them. Um, she's a little dirt dusty. I just gotta. The soil's not soaked and wet, which is good because we know we don't want no Hoyas. Coming to a soaked because that's not a good sign. I mean, they had time to rot also. So, and these are good. This is a good large size as well. So I'm pretty happy about that. And these leaves are huge. I just got to wash her leaves up. Give her a good spray down and look at those uh the roots on these stems. So I'm pretty happy with this. It's a really pretty plant. Um I have been looking, you know, I love any type of I like the foliage on Hoyas because though that's what I'm gonna have longer than I'm gonna have the flowers. So I like to get uh, the foliage, and I like to look at the foliage on uh, Hoyas. So yeah, it's a nice size. Um, I spent forty four altogether with shipping. I believe the plant was like thirty, and then I spent for the shipping. So, um, I believe it was like thirteen. I want to say she does use priority, and it gets here quick. Uh, so. It, it's worth it. Um, like I said, this is a rare one. And I seen just a cutting of this. And it was like, um, just for a little two leaf cutting, it was almost 30. So that's not a bad price uh, for this size of a plant. I just got to get her to get her little shape together. and But she looks good. Um, I don't have no leaves that are damaged besides it getting, um, you know, besides the leaves being a little dirty. So I'm going to just rinse her off. But she's good. She's got, she's in there, none of the soil, a little bit of soil came out, but she's not out of the soil, which is good. And all of these leaves feel like they're rooted in. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. Um, I love her little five-inch pots. I reuse these also. Because they come in handy. So this is her, the Hoya Kayo uh, Yayo. <laughs> I'm probably saying it incorrectly, but it's a pretty good size. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I love it came, it comes with this. So I can hang it up. I like these. Uh, I'm going to be hanging a lot in my new place. But that's it. The leaves, like I said, they get really huge. And then bright, bright light, they get a red tint to it. So I'm really happy with her, um, with the purchase. She never lets me down. And I had a problem with one plant one time, and I swear she must have had the plant before I could even read her message to reply back. She replaced the other plant. And... Really, the other plant just had a little problems, um, and so I was left with two plants, basically, because she replaced it so quickly. So, um, she's real good at communication. Um, I did tell her I was moving, so, you know, I told her, try to get here, get it here before next week, and she had it already here, so I'm really happy with the purchase. If you get a chance, check her out, um, 
Like I said, her name is um on eBay. It goes at it goes under M Buffalo Twelve, and um I'll like I said her. She gives the care instructions. She is in Florida. Um, and so it says wax plants need daytime tams. Let's see. This plant should be fed about once a month during the summer and just once during the winter. All species of wax plants are succulents and need lots of bright indirect light. E um, even some period sunlight is benef beneficial. Wait. Even some partial sunlight is beneficial for this house plant. Water it when it is when it dries out, and be careful. Do not overwater, as that is the main cause of failure to growth of this plant. Transplant this house plant only when necessary in the spring, and the best time to do this. The spring is the best time to do this. The wax plant has a very different way of growing leaves, which also makes it unique. The leaves on the wax plant are sparsely situated on a long stem. Your instinct might tell you to clip these long stems. However, if you do that, your wax plant will not flower and it will not get bushier. Instead, leave the long stems alone and leaves or flowers will appear on mature plants. I just love that, how she has it really detailed to detail, you know, very, very good. I just love her. And like I said, this is my, I bought two philodendrons. This is my first Hoya. And um, I may get another Hoya from her, uh, you know, later on or in a few more months. Um, I'm getting my Hoya collection. I just love Hoyas. So they're one of my new loves along with the Santa Varias and, um, Hoyas and Santa Varias are really what I'm just loving right now. So I hope everyone enjoyed that unboxing. Um, this is the uh, Hoya Kale Pal. Uh, if I'm saying, I don't know if I'm even saying that correctly, but it's the Hoya uh, Kale Yay. So K H A O Y A Y. So I, it's going to be listed in the uh, underneath the title anyway. So I just wanted to go ahead and show because I there's no there's really any information besides Doug Chamberlain, um, you know, talking about it, and then uh, I believe Tropical Plant Girl also did it. I think that's her name, Tropical Plant Girl. I love her. She does great videos on Hoyas and. Um, she does, she just had a Hoya, she went through Christmas time doing a whole Hoya thing, so, yeah, so, um, if you get a chance, check this, uh, seller out on eBay, she has, you know, a variety of different plants on there, so, and like I said, she's in Florida, look at all those aerial roots on here, uh, that's because she had it around a lot of humidity, so, Hoyas, I noticed the more humidity, you'll see those roots um, off. And that means you can actually propagate it and start a whole nother plant. So thanks so much for watching. I hope everyone enjoyed this unboxing. Um, this is my first plant of 2020. Um, Happy New Year's again. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much. Bye.